Note, the following content is my contributive portion to a video from Zanyverse. Link for the full video will be in the description, and I advise you, go watch the whole thing first. Quieres? Burnout Paradise is one of the most recognizable games from when EA knew how to have fun, and I've been summoned to summarize this game. So, I've taken the liberty of playing this game for a while and getting familiar with it. It's not a complex game, but it has enough going to where I can reach the minimum mark for this segment. With that being said, I invite you on this high-speed adrenaline rush across Paradise City. Buckle up, Paul Walker. We're just getting started. Huh? <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. White people be like, Slow down, everyone! Calm down! It's not a race! Stop running! Black people be like, What? Enemy spot! What the fuck was that? Play a boy. Ah, shit. Okay, so we get to start right away with, uh, the, the learner's permit. Let's go ahead and, uh, start it up. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. We are turning that off. I need that VAT YouTube paycheck. Lawsuit threats aside, let's go ahead and move on to the events. I'll be going over these in whatever way I recorded them, because they're fucking everywhere. Marked man. Marked pliers? Here we get hunted by the feds, with their only goal to get us pulled over, straight into a concrete pole. Drives you might to kill them? They always come back, sometimes even multiplying on their own. I didn't know cars were capable of mitosis. If you beat them to the finish line, congrats, you get away. For now. It's not too hard to explain what a race is, unless you... Um, my lawyers have advised me not to finish this joke. Clown activity aside, races are simple. You need to finish before everyone else does. A well-known idea with the twist of having no checkpoints or time limits. Fun fact, you can cheese these races by just boosting and stunting. I mean, what else is there for me to show? What, you expected some NASCAR footage? I guess now would be the perfect time to mention this is one of the few driving games that requires you to get familiar with the city, since you only have a map but no GPS or waypoint system. Burning routes are... <sighs> They're for nerds. You can do them only with a specific car to get an upgrade for that specific car. It's... I'm just not gonna do these. They're just boring. I'm sorry, man. Easily the best game mode. It's a joy to see a little red dot on the map that hasn't been touched yet. Uh, that sounded wrong. <laughs> I have become God's drunkest driver. For all the officers watching out there, it's not us drunk drivers that cause the stigma. It's the drunk crashers. They have a PDA thing for oak trees on the side of the highway. Real quick, would you mind putting the entire knowledge of the unknown universe into my head? You're probably asking by now, what are these events for? Well, it's so we can go from junior cop to class D, then C, and now you will witness the process of obtaining a B tier license. If I wanted to, I could get the A-Class Elite and then Burnout License, but I don't have time to record 40 more hours of footage as it stands when I'm writing this. Of course. Big Max for bigger men. <laughs> Before you go, I want to wrap up and give my thoughts on this game. Complaints. The Pioneer is a big hunk of strong metal, but it's also a piece of shit. Might as well be driving the fucking rock from Spongebob. That's just a stupid boulder! It's not just a boulder! Bob, will you forget the stupid pirate?
speed cars, or cars that only use a boost when it's filled, are dumb and garbage, and I never use them. Also, DJ Atomic Arm, or whatever his stupid name is, does not know when to keep his fucking mouth shut, and tells me things I already know like a demented father. Anti-complaints. The stunt type cars are very good, very easy to gain boost for, and if you get one that's tanky, that's gonna be your goat for a long while. Second, the crashes I got to record in this game probably kept me coming back the most. Last but not least, Showtime Mode. One of the most satisfying parts of the game is where I get to make insurance companies go broke, aka living out my fantasy. I only found out about this game mode at the end of my recording sessions because of some Armenian man who first munches on some lavish and then recites the entire history of his country to me unprompted. He then tells me I can click the two front bumpers on my controller to engage the game mode. Pretty cool. To conclude this summary, I get beaming geebs. To conclude this summary, <coughs> Man. To conclude this summary, I give Beam and G Drive a solid 12 out of pack, a very good time waster, a proper simulation to prepare you for the American roads. I wish you all well. Please drink and drive responsibly. More content to come, and this next one's gonna be big. I'm sorry I didn't get to finish up on that video, which is what was planned, but that game is like trying to review eating Saharan sand. It's nasty, has no flavor, no nutritional value, and was hyped up beyond belief. I didn't even get far into editing. Uh, the only thing keeping that fucking game alive is a thin, fragile IV tube named Mod Support. I don't really find that enough to review it as a whole, but have what I edited together before I gave up. It is like 3 in the morning. Bone Lab is the sequel to Bone Works and is one of the most hyped up virtual reality games of the past half decade, featuring some of your favorite characters like Nick <laughs> and the Ted Kaczynski Shack. In this unique software experience, you play as the average Oblivion NPC, escaping death and returning to enact revenge before being lifted into the heavens. To get there, we first need to interact with the hub or lab in every supplied game mode. Take a chance, roll the dice. It's time to get cooking, Jesse. We start this game by getting fat shamed. You should kill yourself now. This is a certified. So the game just kind of begins. Hey Sans, is that you? And welcome everyone to the Carlsbad Caverns. Here you may find the window screensaver pipes, the San Francisco Obsidian Sphere, and skeletons. This place also features a Unabomber memorial and way too many holes. Uh oh. oh my God. Hey, hey, Two and Kazoo, welcome to the Land Down Under, where we cook up various experiments that make up a unproportional portion of the game. In here, we can choose our avatar, and that's right, I could be V1, but for simplicity's sake, we'll go with the Femboy Stoner, Jonathan Steel Palm. To move forward, we are forced to interact with three of the game modes, so let's begin with. In VR, parkour is both a joy and an absolute gauntlet and judges you based on your completion time. In here, you will witness atrocities like the the Spotify zombie and the jump pad that only works half the time. No, I do not want a break from the ads. I love consumerism. The mod manager manages mods. The mods here are managed in such a way that the game that the mahus has out of being Uh, what, 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 where am I? I'm, I'm tripping, bro. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Sing for the year. No, okay, come on, you two. Go, 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 go. We're all going together. Me and the boy. <laughs> I can't die. I can't die. What the fuck am I witnessing before my eyes? I think I'm gonna get arrested for this. Tommy, you're licking the car! With a self-explanatory name, the Waffle House Counter is a collection of anger management courses dedicated to your patience and skill. The new level design is less eye-scorching and slightly more polished, but that's not saying much. Since we're here, let's go over the mechanics. Guns still function as they should. They, uh, shoot things. Swords are still... eh. Melee? About eight times better. 
Your body is still physical, now with physics in all the wrong places. Inventory works the same as before, but now with the body swapper when you need it, but that comes later in the story. Despite this disappointment, my next project is something I think a lot of you will enjoy for certain, and I mean it this time. I'm putting all my effort into it right now. It will get finished, and I will stay committed. It just might take some time. Keep your eyes peeled. Until then, thank you for watching. Have a good one.